Hey guys, welcome to Life with Mrs B and welcome to today's episode of Foodie Friday. Doesn't have a jingle, but I feel like it should. Hello, welcome. If you're new, my name is Paula, also known as Mrs B, Life with Mrs B. On my channel, I share videos like this. So on Foodie Fridays, I tend to share recipe videos, cooking videos, what's for dinner ideas, what's for lunches, kids' school lunches, what my kids eat in a day all that kind of thing and then I also share videos on a Monday and a Wednesday and there I tend to share things like shopping hauls, grocery shopping hauls, also dating and life videos, we are a family of five, we live here in Bonnie Bonnie Scotland and I share just kind of daily life, it tends to be when we do fun things or more fun things than just regular life and also I do share our holiday videos, they have been <laughs> really really popular videos on my channel. The kind of videos I share, I also share some sit down videos. So if you're new and you think, hmm, that sounds kind of good, then hit the subscribe button. And if you're not new and you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back and checking out some of my other videos. So today I am sharing a breakfast freezer meal prep and I'm gonna be sharing four different recipes. One of them's not really a recipe because there's not really any cooking involved, it's just more assembling. But I hope this will be helpful. So the idea behind breakfast freezer meals or lunch freezer meals, dinner freezer meals is you can prepare everything in advance. Sometimes you cook it and pop it into your freezer. Then in the morning you can just take things out and prepare it like heat it up or we're going to be making smoothies so just chuck them in the blender and you don't have to do any work in the morning. So it's really great for saving time. It's great for not having so much mess in the morning. If your family is anything like mine, mornings can be a little bit hectic. So come along with me as I prepare and cook and do all the good stuff and you guys get to watch and find out all the recipes and come with me. We are starting off with some breakfast muffins. These are kind of healthy-ish, so I feel good about giving these to the kids. Started off with one cup of oats and then followed that up with one and a half cups of plain flour. And then on top of the plain flour, I did a little dash of salt, not too much, and then half a teaspoon of baking powder. So this is my dry ingredients, and then we just mix them together. And then moving on to the wet ingredients, I started with a banana, which you could use eggs instead if you want, two eggs. But I used this one banana, and you just want to mash it all up. Then once it's mashed, you're going to add in half a cup of sugar, followed by half a cup of oil, and just use vegetable oil, and then you guessed it, half a cup of milk. This is soy milk, it really works well in this recipe, but you could use cow's milk, and then you want one tablespoon of lemon juice, but I'm wild and I just guessed. And then you're going to mix that up. Then it's time to add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, scrape it all out and you're just going to mix it through with muffins. The key is not to over mix it. So we're going to add in some fruit now. We've got one cup of blueberries. You could use whatever fruit you want. I find blueberries work well. I did it with raspberries before on my channel but I think blueberries are better because they're smaller. They seem to just mix better and then the mix was looking a little dry so I added in some extra milk and this is kind of the texture consistency that you're looking for. And then I just took a 12 hole muffin tin lined with some silicone bacon wrapper things, they're reusable, they're great. And then I stuck it in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit, 190 Celsius for between 15 and 20 minutes, just keep your eyes on it. Next up are smoothie bags. These are so simple but they really do save time in the morning, save you washing up measuring cups and spoons and all that kind of thing. So definitely give them a try. I started off with one banana in each of these plastic bags. You can wash these bags out and reuse them, which I have done since to make more smoothie bags. And then on top of the banana in each bag, I did half a tablespoon of this mix. It's a mix of flax seeds, pumpkin seeds. I think there might be goji berries in it, some other kind of seeds, I'm not sure. It's all ground up, so half a tablespoon of that and then half a tablespoon of chia seeds. Moving on to fruit, I did half a cup total for each bag and I did a quarter cup of blueberries and a quarter cup of raspberries. 
that some of the cups were kind of heaped so we're maybe talking more than a quarter cup of each but you can use any fruit you've got to hand you can use any fruit you like if you don't like blueberries don't put them in a smoothie you're not going to enjoy it and you're not going to want to use it so just put in what you like and then on top of each fruit pile I'm just going in with a handful of washed spinach you might be like no I don't like spinach but give it a try you really can't even taste it and then this is how they turned out little smoothie bags put the whole thing in the freezer then in the morning dump it in your blender with a cup of water or milk and you're good to go once I'd done that and tidied up the muffins were finished and this is how they turned out look how easy they just pop right out of those silicone cupcake liners. Honestly, I love them, they're so good. Now, moving on to egg bites. I prepared some gammon. This was a gammon steak I had in the freezer that I got reduced. I bought loads of them. Gammon, if you're not familiar, it's just like ham. So I cooked that up and then cubed it. And then I did a green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper. It's not a whole one, it's maybe about a third of each one and I just cubed it up and then we've got some grated cheese. Onto the eggs. I did nine eggs which I found was just the perfect amount to make 12 egg bites. So I just cracked my eggs into a jug. Trust me it's easier to pour from a jug than it is from a bowl. And you just want to mix them up. I don't add anything else. No milk, no cream, no mayonnaise, no sour cream, no salt and no pepper really. Because um, that stuff is salty enough, the ham and the cheese. And then I just spread my fillings out in between all the muffin cases. I did six with the peppers, the ham and the cheese, and six with just ham and cheese. The kids aren't huge fans of cooked peppers, so that's why I did a mix, some with peppers for my husband, some without for the kids. And then you just pour the egg in, just spread it out evenly, and that's it, how simple. Here's what they look like before they got cooked, and I put them in at the same temperature as the muffins for about 15 minutes. And then moving on to the last thing, we're making some breakfast burritos, so I've got some eggs, some minced beef and some large tortilla wraps. I got these for 19 pence, bargain. And I've also got some cheese, I'm gonna actually grate up some more. So first thing what we're gonna do is cook this beef, then scramble up our eggs, and then we're gonna whack it all along with the cheese inside our wrap, and it's gonna be a breakfast burrito. I just started by cooking my mince in a pan. I didn't use any fat, because this mince does have fat, and I, would, I probably wouldn't, I'm like, mm, probably wouldn't do it with beef mince again. Wasn't my favourite, the kids didn't love it. It was very beefy, if that makes sense. And then I poured my eggs in and scrambled them up and that is how that turned out. For seasonings, I used salt, pepper, some garlic powder and some onion powder. And here's how the egg bites turned out. They slip out so easily out of these muffin cases. They are excellent. I'm going to put all the reheating instructions and the freezing instructions down in the description box below guys because it's a lot to see. Back to the burritos. I put all of my flour tortillas out on the worktop, put all the egg and beef mixture on and then spread the cheese between all of them. This is how simple it is. And then once I have filled them all up, I just rolled them up. Some people are scared of rolling burritos, there is no need. For a burrito like this, I tuck the two edges in and kind of pull the filling back a little bit and then roll it up and that's it. You can see me flicking bits off the counter, I'm not gross. My dog was sitting right at my feet and she was like loving all these little bits that had fallen out. But that is how simple it is to roll them out. Edges in, pull it back a little bit, rolly, rolly, roll and just kind of tuck your edges in as you keep rolling so that they don't, your filling doesn't fall out. I've had that happen in the past. Then to wrap these up, I just have some squares of tin foil and you literally just wrap up the burrito and ta-da! 
and then once you've got them all together you just pop them in the freezer and that's how easy these are. For reheating these, I do them from frozen and I just take them out of the tin foil. Don't put tin foil in your microwave and wrap it loosely in a piece of kitchen roll and stick it in the microwave for two to three minutes on a plate and that is it. And that's it guys, my four freezer meal prep ideas for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you make any of these meals and want it and you share them on Instagram, tag me. Here's my Instagram handle. I love Love seeing what you guys make. A lot of people tag me and stuff. And it's, it's so exciting. I really enjoy it. So thank you again for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.